of Christ be with you always. Let us stand as we are able and share that peace with one another. As we are seated, our ushers will wait upon us, gathering our evening's offerings, our tithes, our gifts to God. you are able. betrayed our Lord Jesus took bread he blessed it he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body given for you do this in remembrance of me again after supper he took the cup and when he had blessed it he gave it to them all saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin do this in remembrance of me Together we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. <laughs> forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated, and I'd like to invite Zach and his family to come forward, and Hudson and his family to come forward, and they're going to commune first, because it's um, a special milestone. So we'll, we'll get everybody <coughs> around the altar rail, I, I think. All right? So come on up. here. <coughs> you're, you're perfect. You, we'll, we've got some a um, little bit to share uh, dialogue here and then we'll, um, we'll kneel and you'll have communion. Okay? <coughs> These young people with the help of their families, baptismal sponsors in this congregation have been instructed regarding the sacrament of Holy Communion. As a part of your instruction, you have learned the importance and the need for confession and forgiveness for your sin. Do you understand your sinfulness and your need for the love, for, the lo for loving forgiveness and the presence and promise of Christ? <coughs> Excuse me, boys. Please respond. Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Do you desire the true gifts of Holy Communion? Forgiveness for your sins, new life with Jesus, new life with, which extends beyond the grave? If so, please say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right. Then come, pick up your cross, and follow the one who died for your sins, the one who calls you to this table, the one who gives his body, his blood, his life for you. By holy baptism, Zach and Hudson... <coughs> excuse me, were made members of the body of Christ who were born again into the promises of God and continue to grow in faith and love and obedience to the will of God. Parents, this is your paragraph to say. <coughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so may the Lord of this Lord's Supper continue to bless you, Zach and Hudson, on your journey of faith. May the Holy Spirit use your parents, your sponsors, your teachers, and your pastors to guide you toward the life we all share with Christ when, when Christ comes again. And may this meal strengthen you for service as you speak these words, yes, by the help of God. <laughs> all right. All right. So now they're going <coughs> to, excuse me, kneel, and they're going to commune, and then... <coughs> When they're done, then you all will, will come to the table. So please.
daytime, but you do not answer. By night as well, but I find no rest. Yet you are the holy one, enthroned upon the praises of Israel. Our forefathers put their trust in you. They trusted. you. 